Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in finding out what are four standards you can adopt starting today that will change your fate and your luck with men, well, stick around because I'm going to reveal what these are on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today's another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm happy to be sharing with you today four standards you can adopt immediately that will change completely change your fate and your luck with men I connect with so many women who are doing the best they can to create the relationship with their dreams but they still find themselves in the awkward situation of being in the hamster wheel of doing so much stuff not getting the result they want so rather than tell you some strategies I thought about giving you four standards these are, what's a standard? A standard is something you decide, it's a decision you make about the way you'll behave, you'll be, you'll stand in the world. That if you're courageous in your stance of doing them, you can have a new reality as it relates to men. Here's the first one. The first one is, I create intensity in my life irrespective of him. There's this big misconception so many women have when they have lives that are not as exciting as they want them to be that when they connect with a guy, they will feel this surge of awesomeness. And sometimes they do, but it's unsustainable. If the awesome, awesomeness comes from him, if the awesomeness comes from the newness of the whole situation, it's not gonna last. So creating intensity irrespective of him means that you dedicate your energy and your light and your passion to figuring out how you can be that source of inspiration, that source of passion, that source of awesomeness that is able to shine regardless of who is in her life at the moment. Second one is I listen to who he is versus what he tells me. This is such an important standard to adopt in life because the vast majority of women who are not getting the result they want, when they create a connection with a guy that feels intense, they stop listening to who he is and they listen to how they feel about him. So if you make the commitment, the decision to listen to who he is by the actions he takes, by the way he shows up and the things that he uh, long term is able to do, not short term. Anyone can do awesome things and can promise amazing things short term, but who he is long term, that is what allows you to to either move forward or say absolutely fuck no this is a no for me i need to move to a different direction okay number three is i don't commit to him unless he's proven his dedication and his love and it might seem well it's a little harsh shouldn't i prove myself no you shouldn't if you're showing up with an open heart if you're showing up with vulnerability if you're showing up with passion if you're showing up as an amazingly high value woman there's nothing you need to prove he needs to let you know with his actions, with his word, with his integrity, with his honesty, with his persistence, that he has what it takes for the long haul. Many men will feel this short-term burst of energy, partly because they want to create some happiness in your life, partly because they want to feel intensity and have sex. That's the truth. But the guy that can sustain this long-term, the guy that has proven time and time again you can count on him that's the guy that you commit to not the guy that you feel intense with but who doesn't have the first fucking clue how to create sustainability in your life and show you that he's there for you that he's solid number four is i'm honest with myself even actually mostly when it hurts even and mostly when it hurts what does that mean that means that when you catch yourself making up excuses for a guy. When you catch yourself doing things that if your best friend were to do them, you would say, you're absolutely insane. Let me slap you a couple of times, wake up, but you're doing them, that you get radically honest with yourself. And that you, even if you feel the pain of not doing it right, even if you feel the pain of, oh my God, that means I may have to sp spend some time alone until I create a strong connection again, that you're willing to be honest with yourself because when you're honest with yourself even when it hurts then you avoid long-term situations i'm talking i'm talking about marriages and long-term commitments that will drain you and suck the life out of you and prohibit you from finding the emotional 
deep, passionate love. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful in some way. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, there's gonna be a pop-up that allows you to sign up to a webinar I'm hosting that will share with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.